<clears throat> in order to <clears throat> view a Kindle file on your iPad or iPhone, you have to connect it through iTunes and you have to copy that .azk file. Let me show you how. What I did is I plugged in my iPad here. You have to scroll down to the file sharing area, which may not be obvious because it shows you the app, so you need to actually drag down to get to the file sharing area. Then click on Kindle, and this is the section we're going to be dropping the file into. This is the file here that I'm going to be dropping in from Finder, so I'm going to grab this file, drag it, and drop it right here. And you'll see here it transferred the file. And then what I can do is I can sync up my um, iPad and my Mac book, and it'll copy this file over, and then I can go into my Kindle app and see it the way it was supposed to be represented. These Mobi files here are not an accurate view of the Kindle book on the iPad because what happens is the Mobi file goes through an additional conversion that Amazon does to this AZK format so that it displays properly on iOS devices. Anyway, that's the process you have to go through if you are proofing your Kindle books that we send you um, on a iOS device. And in another tutorial, I'll show you how, if we did not provide you an AZK file, how you can create one of these yourself. Hope that was helpful. This is Brian Schwartz from selfpublish.org. Thank you.